The national president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Comrade Joe Ajero, says Kogi State is in safe hands with the appointments of seasoned Labour leaders and technocrats to positions of leadership in the state. Ajero made this remark at the Labour House in Abuja while receiving some dignitaries from Kogi State, led by the special advisor to the state governor on Labour matters, Comrade Onu Odoka. Ajero, who stressed the importance of having experienced persons who fit their roles in government, believes this would add renewed drive for excellent service delivery across the state. As a movement, we are going to give us all the necessary support. It didn't just start with them, like he explained to you, all the governor and his deputy were former workers. Now they are governors and deputy governors. So, and that may have informed them looking at some other lieutenants from the same fold to work with. So we can but wish them the best and uh, pray that their tenor will be successful and advise them that they should not forget whose father they are. They should not forget their family, you know, when they live there. There are things that unionists can do, so they should not do those things that unionists can do. There are some issues that were discussed there, you know, and since we have not received a copy of what is being transmitted to the president, that may be contentious if we don't have a synergy. The issue of the frequency of review is an issue. The issue of checking, you know, market prices, the issue of checking inflation and all those issues, you know, are some of the issues that were negotiated there. So you can't take just whatever you like to that place and expect the whole house to be quiet. So I think there is need, you know, like you said, to reach out to all stakeholders so that we can have, you know, a, a united uh, position. The issue of, the issue of uh, adding Kogi among the states that are owing was a report based on a report done by the Minister of Finance. They do of states that are not paid. And it was that report that equally captured Anambra and few other states. But some states have come out to refute it that they actually paid the minimum wage. And the issue we had with Kogi before now was the issue of non-payment of salaries, <coughs> which the new administration came out strongly to say that they have corrected it and they are now paying as at when due. Even the last salary, before salary, they say they paid on 14th and all that. Whether the state government say they will pay or not, it is immoral and lack of discipline for the representatives of the governors to be sitting on the table with us and for few of them to be saying they will not pay. How can you send their representatives and we are discussing and you are at the back? You could have pulled them out. And I told Hope was on the mother day. Are you listening to what you are saying outside? And you are sitting here with the governor of uh, uh, Para State discussing. So let's not go into that until we finish negotiation. And he has made all commitments to seeing that the workers' welfare in the state will actually be his first and topmost priority. We are coming from a route where our state had always been on the news on workers' welfare on, on a bad note before. But this time around, His Excellency has brought us on board to see how we can ensure that such news no longer goes out just like that. And to make sure that we work assiduously both with the state, local government, and national level of the unions as to achieve the welfare of the workers jointly. In putting the record straight is to let all of us know too well that uh, we were made to understand that the Federal Ministry of Finance has a position that Kogi State is not paying 30,000 naira minimum wage. I want to make it clear that Kogi State is paying 30,000 naira minimum wage in Kogi State. And it was being paid and implemented by the previous government.